Hi everybody, in today's lesson I'm going to continue a series I started a while back talking about the aspects of playing solo jazz guitar. Many people think that playing in the style of solo jazz guitar is beyond reach, but really with a few essential skills you can make some nice music and sound really good just by yourself. In this lesson I'm going to talk about a fundamental building block on your solo guitar playing, and which also happens to be one of the most important parts of playing a song, which is the melody. Let's jump right into it. So first off, you need to pick a melody to learn. For this lesson we're going to use the classic standard, All of Me. So once you picked out your melody, in this case all of me, then we need to talk about how to learn the melody correctly. For many of these songbook type pieces, you can find a vocal version of the tune you're looking at. It's always good to do a bit of research on the song that you're wanting to learn. In all of me's case, it was played in the 1932 movie Careless Lady. So to learn it, I would go back to the show or movie where the song was premiered and learn it from that version if it exists, or a version around that same time. I left a link to a video that has the song from the movie uh, in the video description below. It's very important to have melodies in your ears and not in your eyes and in your hands, so to speak. The reason is that when we start embellishing and adding things to the melody later, it's going to be really hard if we're trying to remember what notes are in the melody and how it goes. For time's sake, I'm going to play you the melody of All of Me, which I will provide a PDF in the video description below. Okay, so now we have the melody learned. What next? The next thing that we have to do is play the melody in time with good swing feel and good groove. I just demonstrated this for you previously, but I want you to do it as well. In order to play solo guitar proficiently, you're gonna have to be used to playing by yourself in time with a metronome. You don't have to set the metronome on two and four either. You can just set it to accent one. This way you never lose track of where one is or the time. So I like to use an app called Pro Metronome. I click on that and if you're using this, what you're going to do is you're going to go in to the settings here and you're just going to click on the top one and make it where it's the biggest bar and that's going to sound like this. So one is accented. You can do two and four if you want. But this way, you have to feel where one is. And sometimes when people do it on two and four, they don't feel where one is and they're kind of guessing. So if you have a solid uh, foundation on where one is, use two and four. If you don't, don't worry, it'll come in time, but make sure to accent that one. So once you have the melody in time, we're gonna add some chord roots in between the melody phrases. So whenever you have a pause in the melody, I want you to play whatever the root of the chord that we're on is. Here's what I mean. You can even add eighth note swing rhythms as well. Use these ones at the bottom of the screen uh, for now. Now 
you have all the melody and you're able to play the roots in between the phrases of the melody, then let's add chords instead of just playing the root. All right, so even with this, we're starting to get something that sounds more like solo jazz guitar. Let's keep adding to the equation. The next thing would be to add chromatic passing chords to your chords. All this means is that you could either play the same voicing, either up a half step or down a half step. So instead of playing the C major seven, we can now play this. You could even move it up two chromatic notes or approach it by two chromatic notes. Remember that all this needs to be done in time in order for your skills as a solo guitar player to be solidified. Next, let's harmonize the melody. Many people get nervous when harmonizing melodies to standards because they think that they have to harmonize every single note. Well, guess what? You don't. Most of our standard guitar voicings can be used to harmonize melodies such as this one. The first thing that you need to know is look at all the voicings that you have under your fingers and look at what the top note is for each of those voicings. If you need some help on learning voicings or you don't know very many, make sure to check out my previous video that I did on jazz comping. Let's look at the melody and find some voicings that could work. Okay, so first off on all of me, the first part of the melody is just a C triad, right? So this last note of the melody, this E, we can just harmonize the last note of the melody phrase for the song. It works really well. So a great chord that we could use to harmonize that E is this. Is that C6 shape so we could keep this pattern going. And then here, on this E, we're on an E on an E7, right? So we just look at our chords and we see, do we have any uh, voicings of E7 where E is the top note? And there's this great common guitar voicing, this one. So we'll use that there. And then we're gonna continue this pattern going down. So the next phrase, we can harmonize that E with an A7, just our normal A7 drop three voicing. And that pattern will continue throughout the whole song. So just make sure to review uh, your voicings and the top notes of each one. A tricky one might be on the last part of it though, when it goes. That D in the melody over the F, I would just play this voicing up here. I'd go. This is a F major 13, which is the same as the F major 13 down there, which is pretty much like this shape, this F major seven drop three voicing. So we're gonna take the C and move it up to D. All right, so now we have some voicings to harmonize the melody. The last thing I want you to do for this lesson is to put small lines in between the phrases of the melody. This is just like when we added chords and roots in between the phrases, but this time we're gonna add this line. All this is is just simply an enclosure to the third of whatever chord we're on, and then we jump down to the fifth. So if it was over E7, we would play this. Or if it were over A7, it would be like this. Once you practice this line over all the chords, then I want you to try combining it with the melody. Then what you can do is you can pick where to play this line or you can put in the chords like we did before. So with that being said, here is all of me with everything that we talked about in this lesson so far.
So you can see this is the process of how to learn a melody and then play it in the solo guitar style. If you have more complicated lines or more complicated chords, you're welcome to throw those in instead of the ones that I showed in the lesson today. Also an added benefit to learning songs like this is when you play them in a group, it's gonna be a lot easier for you, I promise. Also remember that the time and the groove is the most important aspect when playing solo in time guitar. Remember to check out my other videos in this series on how to play more solo guitar ideas and how to sound more like Joe Pass. Thank you guys so much for watching this video about how to play a melody in the solo guitar style. If you like this solo guitar series and wanna see more concepts, make sure to let me know in the comment section below. If you like what you're seeing on this channel, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button to keep up to date with my future content. And if you're feeling so inclined, make sure to hit that super thanks button. Uh, you can donate to this channel and give whatever you think is necessary. It really helps me out and I really, really appreciate it. Also, if you're interested in online guitar lessons, make sure to send me an email. You can find my email on my website, which I'll link in the description below. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. And remember to always keep swinging 